today's um, class is all about something very easy to do, yet something very hard also uh, to be in that space of realization. So for most of you, the understanding of nirvana or enlightenment or samadhi is always associated, I have to learn this, I have to study this, I have to meditate on this. Uh, hi, ladies, good to see you. So it's very cold. Hi, Dr. Michelle. Hey, Matt, I hope you're, you, you're connecting, yes. Um, so to understand this enlightenment, sometimes it's very easy for you to understand that your interference of this level of the being should not be forced. I understand that you need to read books, you need to be with scholars, you need to hide that. So it's very, very important that today's class you're emphasizing on that you're conscious, you're aware of your personality, you're aware of your education that interferes with this space of being. The more you interfere with them, the more you find the educated answer, you get involved in it. And the more you involve, the more the frustration comes. And when the frustrations come, even you go and sit with these great teachers and podcasts and all that, your frustration becomes furthermore because it is not an answer to your personality. Because basically, as I say, to understand the space of being, your personality, your, your, your ideas about you, your separation has to die. A lot of people don't like to uh, create that space while they are living. But, 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 but I can be enlightened and also and be this. Yes, to be this is just to be, rather than try to seek enlightenment, try to achieve enlightenment. So today's class, whether you're breathing, become very conscious about breathing, so we work with the breathing technique that allows you to be in that space and you maintain that space. And while you're maintaining that space, everything that else comes is foreign to you. Then be conscious about it. Okay? Because we cannot be free from our personality because we have a past and a present and also maybe a future that if you're still separated in that level, and it is something that you cannot get rid of and something that you need to understand the illusion of it and maintaining that space. So saying that today's breathing is taking a breath into the count of four, but you're breathing out into the count of eight. So now find the position, erect your spine, and very gently take a deep breath into the count of four, two, three, four, and very gently breathing out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now in, and just hold the breath. Bring the breath into the awareness of your space of the third eye. Give a little direction. Don't hold the form of it. Hold the space of it. Now, gently breathe out. And then take a break from the breath. Very gently for about 30 seconds. 
Now you're aware of the urge to breathe in, then breathe in a small breath and breathe out. Just become aware of the space that you call the personality, the body, the mind. And whatever you feel, whatever you're involved with, is going to be larger. Or you can just be aware of it, consciously, and evolve in the practice. I'll gently move the camera to the standard. Now gently come into your normal breath. Now shoulders roll back very gently. Stretch uh, neck to the right. Stomach hold it in very gently. Back to the center onto the other side. Now take a deep breath in back into the center, very gently twisting the spine of the out breath onto the right side. Our shoulders spread, chest open, and accept this present. It can be daunting to the mind. It can be harder for the mind. Breathing in, back into the sex. Now just observe that your personality comes into this reality of the person here. Just be aware of it. Don't chase it. Change the leg formation. And the outward tripping the spine to the left side. Just very gently opening, spreading. And observe the aspect of this situation can be affected by whatever breathing in that means. Shoulders shall rise to the Our region, the arms raise onto the crown, interlacing the fingers, palms facing up. Take a good stretch. Now observe the space of the wrist, the whole space of the wrist. And your tailbone sitting down, your buttocks, and try to make an energy of square. Breathe. Now spread the wings wider and twisting the spine to the right side. Breathing it back into the center. Change the right formation, twisting the spine to the Next side. Now take a deep breath in, very gently coming into a seated cat out breath. <laughs> now at this moment, observe if you're rejecting your personality or a thought. Take a deep breath in, shoulders roll back, opening up the chest, push the belly in. Are you fighting with the anger? Are you fighting with the frustration? It's really just observe. Just be. Just be. Breathe out. And very gently lock the anus, pull the navel, slightly tuck the chin. And take a deep breath in, push the belly out, turn roll up onto the upper palate, energy gaze onto the Now, at this moment, you will step past your initial reaction into the acceptance of the being. And you never separate from it. You never invited it. It was there. What happened is, on the contrary, you're inviting the personality over and over again. Without in a slot. So, this is meditating without meditating, without doing Breathing in, come all up on the upper palate, energy gaze down to the brain. Remember, understand, and be very kind and gentle with the frustration, whatever. Now, in close spine, take a deep breath in, shake the arms, release the tension. Take any static 
that has come as an initial reaction. Now take a deep breath in and Garudas in the right arm onto the top. Now open up that back of the shoulder blades. So light is now shining in the space of understanding. Anything that hit me, just open. Keep that Garudasi. Now take a deep breath in, stroke the third eye up to the crown, releasing any tension that is triggered. In back, wait to ease. Take patience. Spread the wings wide. Twisting the spine to the right, start pulling in, opening up the chest, taking a gentle breath, but elongating the out breath a bit more. So now there is observation of the breath, observation of so called this body, observation of so called this mechanism of the mind or the, or the dashboard of the mind. Use the tools, but don't be attached and don't allow the tool to control you. Back to the center. Change the leg formation and take that space of Gardasana, left arm on the top. Be aware of your shoulder blades. Drop your shoulders, face your shoulders. And take another deep breath in. Observe emotions are powerful because your ego or your illusion is screaming because it feels like you're abandoning it. Just observe the initial reactions of it. Take a deep breath in. Stroke the third eye, twisting the spine while you're stretching towards the crowd. Onto the left. Now, breathing in, and if you have maintained yourself into this place without triggering, and you're sitting back. Trust that you're in the process. Practice. Now take a deep breath in. Very gently bringing your left leg into the back. Keeping the right hip on the feet and forest. Shoulders relax yourself. And take a deep breath in. Shoulders roll back. On the breath out, elongate the body. So the body that you are. Elbows drop. Now be aware of everything that is taking place. You're in the space of a posture. You're in the space of the guidance. But yet you're not. You're naked. You're not putting the armor of the mind. You're not putting the armor of the body. Yet you're using it. Like you're getting into a car. You're using the dashboard, you're driving, but any moment you can stop that and get out. So while you're in it, you're, so you are forced to become, and when you become it, you start doing things, thinking that it is you. And you are constantly get pulled into this current if you don't have the space of the understanding and the practice. Take a deep breath in, very gently coming back. Now what you call, I had a hard week, I had a hard bill, I had to do this, that, all that. It's been left affecting me. Or if it is affecting you, are aware of it. And that is not correct. Now, very gently coming into a plank, strong on the power of the flow. Now, strong back of the head is elongating. Now, come 
into push up toes, come down. You can completely drop if it is too much for the Chaturanga Dandas. Breath in, up, face. Shoulders roll back. Breath out, down, face. And take a deep breath in and bring in that left foot into the front onto the pigeon pose. Take a deep breath in, shoulders roll back. Are we still in this understanding? Or we get pulled back into the personality? It's okay, just be aware of it. Shoulders roll back, opening up the chest. Briefly breathe out from the other side. So this separation can come as a overprotection, a gloss, a glamour, a armour. Now you're able to your practice. Who you are is also not what you think you are. Because there's one you become involved. The other one you understand by evolving. Now you can understand where people are at. So they all are bees, not just personalities, but they don't know that. So you accept them for who they are, not what you want them to be. And whether your children, whether your partners, whether your work people, work peers, relatives. Now take a deep breath in with this realization when you now you don't have a trouble of coping with the circumstances. One thing is everything is changing, constantly changing. Everything is very temporary. Even you have five years, six years, it is very temporary. Plan strong on the belly. Spread your fingers very well. Pull your belly in. Don't slouch. Keep your spine stronger. Lower plan. Breathing in into a gentle up belly. Shoulders go back over, just breathe out towards the down. Now, when you one at a time, take a deep breath in and lifting up onto the toes, bend the knees, shoulders sinking in, spreading. Now, take a deep breath in, soften the posture, drop the knees, and give a good rotation to the hips. One rotation. No matter what you're experiencing on your hip and wrist, one rotation to the other side. I'll take a deep breath in, push the hips into the front, push the hips into the back, arms facing up. As you move into this acceptance, you could see your life with the personality, idea of separation, idea of this or that. It becomes easier. Now, whatever the body does, whatever the mind does, when you observe it, from the space 
You just have to this body and the mind, nothing other than love and gratitude. And there is a subtle joy of being alive in the space of a body, being alive in the space of a body. There are so many places you can be alive without the body, but let's say being alive in the space of the body for the time. Remember, just be today. Just being in the art of laziness. I take a deep breath in, crawling and bringing the chest into the blood. Drop the belly, stopping the hips. Elbows stuck in, breathing in, into a gentle cold breath. Now the turbulence. You have understand it's in the personality, it's in the separation, it's in the division. But is that a space that the being is experienced or it sees the limitation of a mind and a body? But at that very moment, it's also clearing away and you're moving into that space of the God. But by studying and doing, you not further become enlightened. Or it's not going to be diminished. Because you are the space of the understanding of life itself. Take a deep breath in your third eye landing on the on the space of the hand and reflect on the constant nature of the change. So it's now you also have to understand everything is in this space of the being, the whole idea of materials, everything is in that space. So it's not that this is not enlightened or this is not being. So try not to take the educated path. Try to more take the fool's approach on this. The more educated, more hard it becomes. More logic, more hard it becomes. Now take a deep breath in, palms on the chest level, breathing into our face. Breathe out towards the down face. Breathing in left foot over the right, opening up the left chest. So drop that leg on the other side as that to the floor. Left arm reaching up. Okay, deep breath, clench and unclench. Opening up the hips, don't slouch. Bring the arms back onto the floor. Now back to the down face. Left leg up. Left knee to the left chest. Breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back. Left knee onto the left elbow, breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back. Left knee onto the right elbow, stretch back. Left foot into the front. Arm stretch into the back. Breathing in, arms raise onto the crown. Spread the wings wide and catch the floor. Take a deep breath in, right arm reaching up. Take a deep breath out, right arm reaching onto the floor. Take a deep breath in, left arm reaching up. Into the back, touch the floor. Take a deep breath in, back knee drop. Holding onto the front knee. Push the hips into the front and into the back. Carefully lunge forward and backwards. Take a deep breath in, arms onto the floor into a plank, take a deep breath in, left knee onto the floor, right arm reaching up to the ceiling, breath out, elongate the breath, touch the floor, into a plank, 
strung on the pelvic floor, drop the knee, stretch the spine on the outbreak into the back. And breathing in, crawling, and bringing the chest onto the front. Breathing in into a gentle bhujangasana, striking cobra. Breath out, relax the third item. Now, through that process, where you're still part of the authentic self, or you're part of believing in yourself, or you are pushing yourself to do whatever you set your mind and body wants to do. Just observe. Observe your actions, observe your reactions, observe your thoughts. And just take that lazy approach, fool's approach. Now, by releasing the space of the body and the separation, you allow the being to bring that flow of energy not by force. But that flow actually can go where the personality can not achieve. So even if you want to be, be a personality, which is we have to in this world, your dreams and goals are more easily attained than achieved. Does that make sense? So it's not saying to you, be a poor person and have enlightenment, or be a rich person and be this or that. It's not. Now, very gently, elbows back onto the space of the chest. Hold that, breathing in into an up face. Breathe out towards the down face. So the cycle is going to be exactly as the left side. So if you need to take a break, please do take a break. Otherwise, the right foot over the left foot opening up the right arm. So I've added another sequence of the posture. Right reaching into the back, touch the floor into a down face. Right leg up into the back. Right knee onto the chest, breathe out. Breathing in, switch back. Right knee onto the right elbow, breathe out. Breathing in, switch back. Right knee onto the left elbow, breathe out. Breathing in, switch back. Right foot into the front. Arm switch into the back. Breathing in, arms raise onto the crown. Spread the wings wide, attach the floor. Breathing in, right arm reaching up to the ceiling. Into the back, touch the floor, left arm breathing in, up to the seal, without touch the floor. Drop the back knee holding on the left front, meaning lunging forward and backward, softening the body. So these are all opportunities. Just to observe, to be in the space of even the doing. It is observe of the space of detachment. There is no attachment to the thing. Now take a deep breath in, arms raise onto the crown, spread the knees wider, touch the floor. Into a plank, right knee onto the floor, left arm reaching out to the ceiling, touch the floor, right arm reaching out to the ceiling. The wing wider and touch the floor into a plank from on the pelvic floor. Drop the knees and switch the spine. Arms facing up. So, where are we at in this 
moment? Are we reinforcing ourselves into the thought? Are we reinforcing ourselves into the emotion? To the mind? To the body? For your progress and process. Yes. Now, is it the future matters in a level of understanding? If the past matters, or you're embracing the merge into the space of the being. When you understand that you are a continuous patterns of change, yet there is continuous patterns of growth. Now reflect your needs to recognize and also reflect on your contribution so that the others recognize their being. Now this is not so much passing, but your voice is not being heard and you're becoming into a sadhu's life or a priest's life. You're just humming life, it's, it's nothing like these are all mind provocative persons. So then you could see the martyring self of ourselves. We do too much, we give too much, we done too much. Because the others, as other as separated, is when you're separated. You see everything is separated, everything is come back, and it's a constant division if you don't pay attention. So observe the signs and the messages today. Otherwise, the mind and the voice, like a parrot, it repeats the phrase over and over again that you are not enough. Or it repeat the praise of God, God, God without its understanding. Because you talk about enlightenment doesn't mean that you're enlightened. Now you can take a moment to have that galactic laugh when you have found the truth, the word. The meaning, the message. Now, very gently come onto the space of a gentle cat from this space, very gently coming up to the knees. Breathe out to a cat, breathing in. A cup. Now take a deep breath in without looking. Now breathing into a neutral spine. So there's a proper elongation, there's a proper space. A very gently left arm reaching up to the ceiling, into the back, under the armpit. My proper shoulder blade as much as possible. Your right arm can reach up to the sacrum. Right arm reaching into the front. Wherever you can feel that shoulder blade on the left is spreading, releasing, allowing its energy to be heard, to be felt. Now you're allowing the body in a space of a cell to expand and grow, a mind to expand and grow. 
And these are the treasures that we keep a uh, level. You have not, you're coming to the space of you're not enlightened. Coming to the space that you're born from that space. It's your birthright. Otherwise, you'll be always in the space of seeking. It is to be felt rather than ongoing search. Because when you're in the search, you always feel the energy is depleted. You're not fulfilled by it. Now take a deep breath in and coming back into the space of the cat. Pull that arm. Breathing into the space of the cow. Turn all up on the ground. Very gently coming into a neutral spine. Now let's do the other side. Of the arm reaching up. Right arm. Kneeling under the armpit. Drop the kitchen. And you and listen to the guidance. That's evolutionary process. Find a way, always capture the essence of your practice. That you're gaining through the practice. The growth, the essence of it. So it's not so much doing, writing, meditating, channeling. It's so much belongs to the space of non doing. Because your personality loves doing because it's thrive on doing. But it, it's a waste of time not doing. But yet, it is in the depth of not doing. That's why I said you will have the galactic laugh about it. Now take a deep breath in and very gently coming back into the space of the back. Breathe out. Now into a neutral spine and give a good rotation to the hips in a circular motion wider into the both sides and release any tension that occupied by doing that you're doing. And now you're still doing, but there is a new realization. The rotation feels. Take a deep breath in. And we're coming into the center. Push the hips into the back, into the front, crawling and bringing the chest into the front. Take a deep breath into the up face. Take a deep breath onto the down face. Take a deep breath, drop the knees, straight the spine back, crawling and bringing the chest into the front. Breathing the knee to up, breathe out towards the down face. Take a deep breath in, drop the knees, stretch the spine, crawling and bringing the chest into the front, breathing in into up face, breathe out towards the down face, breathing in, drop the knees, stretch the spine, breath out, breathing in, crawling and bringing the chest into the front, breathing in into up face. Breathe out towards the down face. Now drop the knees, stretch the spine. Arms facing up. Did you get caught up in the body? Or you're getting a little closer? Into the space of the path. Pay attention as you can more with your practice and more in the space of the laziness. Now, to your dashboard, to the mind, you can use the tools to evolve and grow regardless of what the outcome might be. Now, if your life throws something as a difficulty, 
Now you have the understanding to see it as an opportunity to, to work your mind in a space of the different. Or you want to run through the same loophole that you become a martyr of that same loophole or your growth has stopped. Take this moment that everything is that different into your life. It's not your enemy. Not difficult. It is allowing your self-esteem through your growth and evolution. Now you have a new pair of eyes, not just to see the eyes of the past, and a future from that past, but there is a new insight into yourself. Because you know the change and you continue to learn and grow in that space. And you have a deep understanding is the one that assists you in this space of this relationship with the mind and the body. Now, initially to your own mind, new things come as stress. And you will escape back into your old patterns. Whatever that addiction is. The biggest addiction in the planet is the addiction to your personality. That's where all the addiction starts. Then comes the additions of when you can't evolve in the space of the spirit, you take the cheaper version of the spirit in the alcohol. The biggest addiction, the all the addictions get created by the addiction to your personality. Now, when you come into this understanding, your seeking has stopped. There is only expression and gratitude. Child pose. Now very gently, take a deep breath in and come into the space of your crown of the head. And very gently lift off the buttocks so the pituitary and the pineal energy is bubbling in the space of so there is no fog in the brain. Now stick the third eye on the space of your fist. Now there's a subtle sound of a conch shell. The vibration of the realization without any words. Symbolizes the gift of the moon. Now, very gently, we cut the spine one more time. Shoulders relax into stories. Now, take a deep breath in, lifting up onto the knees, roll back. You will do the utrasana by a back bend. Right arm reaching into the back, up to the ceiling, onto the hip, left arm reaching up to the ceiling, into the back. Support the back, lift up. And then if they reach onto the heels, it's up to you. Otherwise, it's just fine where the hips are. Now, continue that Evolvement, expanding, and the space of gratitude into the moment. Once you've done that, you can come back to the child pose to take that space of the pose. Shoulders relax and just do it. Now 
Now you have a companionship now, that is your realization. What you're doing is you're spending time. Makes a huge difference in this space of understanding. And in time with this space. Giving that extra time to your self care in a level of difference. Now take a deep breath in and very gently recover the spine one more away. Shoulders relax and your chest. Now very gently stretch the legs into the front. Give a big shake and release any further tension. All those relaxing just go down. Take a deep breath in. Arms raise onto the crown. Roll back, spread the wings wider into the back, lifting up the hips. Toes pointing into the front. Now take a deep breath in and gently coming back. Breath out, knees to the chest. Breathing in. Navasana, arms raise onto the crown. Breath out, knees to the chest. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out, knees to the chest. Now take a deep breath in and lock down to the toes if you can. Bend the knees feet wide apart. Lightly, you're stretching. Your shoulders are relaxed. Your chest is elevating. Now very gently bringing the knees to the chest. Now very gently roll back. Roll back. With that, roll into the front. Now roll back, breathe out. Breath in, breath out, coming back. Now coming into the Navasana. Breath out, roll back. Breath in, Navasana. Breath out, roll back. Breath in, Navasana. Breath out, breath in, breath out coming onto a cross leg at your feet. Great. Our version retreats in the spine to the right, somewhat pulled in. Breath coming back into the center. Breath out onto the earth. Breath in. So very gently at this very moment. <clears throat> just come into the space of the understanding. By taking a lazy approach. You're not doing anything other than you are witnessing. Now, if you still feel I am meditating, let's think for a moment and very gently take the clothes of all the personalities you're wearing. Take a break from being a mom, being a dad, being a partner, who were you before that? And who were you before that space and the space before? At that very moment, you don't have to go back into the space that indicate, but you will have an opportunity 
on the foreground of the representation So now, the space of that being, the space of that lack, space of that understanding. You may find that the memories are only from this life, unless you spend some time to understand the memories of the last life. Now you see the gift restores the space of the soul. Now does it need any additions of thoughts, of a body, a mind, and an image? Now give yourself a break from this trapped energy. stagnation and allow this body to be fresh with this understanding filled with that eyes calm balance to the positive eyes created by all these things that we are living with computers mobiles phones A lot of practice to bring that negative eyes, that the space of the light in the sun, the nature, it's into the breath and the waves crashing. The space of this understanding is anti depressants and help you to feel more relaxed and healthier. Of course, if you're in the meditation, please use them. But I'm just saying how your practice is also about to work on those phases. So you have taken now you are taking that trip that you have postponed into the future. You are taking that trip to that natural path because your body is feeling that space. Because you're spending this time with yourself, the healing ground. Your sense of the self clear your mind and energy. You flow all of you with your rest of the diet and the medication to bring your cortisol levels and the body rhythm in the balance. You were exposed to your being. The positive positively influence your body, your inner clock, your mind. Take a moment to talk. When you come into that realization, take a deep breath in, arms raise onto the crown, arms onto the sky, and on the out breath, very gently internally vocalize the energy of Om. In the vibration, breathing. So you will feel that humming and the vibration. But releasing the tension of the emotion and how that you feel that humming at this time will take you back into the space to restore and the sense of peace and calm.
Now take a deep breath in now and release onto the ground, moving the space and the aura, what you call your body now, the bigger understanding and the part of the home. Cleanse the aura of the home. Reach up to the space of the crown of the home. Crown of the earth, crown of the galaxy. I mean, the space of the third eye. Where you see and felt it's beyond. SSC. Throat. Heart. How well you have played with each accomplishment in your life in the space of the heart. Solar plexus. As you renew your accomplishment, reflect on where you can improve. Neighbor. You may want to be a bit more considerate of others. More little. Identify areas where you can create better outcomes in this space of the earth. Gently raise the vibration back to the crown. Arms onto the namaskar position. And contemplate. Be realistic and reasonable with yourself. To be children. Namaste. It's so all good to see you. You beautiful. People, and, uh, namaste to Rebecca and Des. Namaste to Liz. Namaste to Dr. Michelle. Namaste to Matt. Namaste to Maria and Sage. Um, so today's class is a little bit flowy, but also it was working on the level of who you are without this personality and also to understand that you don't have to study, you don't have to meditate to become enlightened. I think it is a such a uh, level of not recognizing the intuition that you are born with. If you're born from that space and you just have to recognize that. It's not that the more you study, more you do meditation, more it will make it better or more it will make it diminish. Just come into the practice and gently find a way to be into that space. It's not about doing so much. It is actually not doing and taking a lazy approach onto it. So I love to use, spend some time in the nature, uh, lots of water and they have your state. Yes. Thank you.